Hello everyone and welcome to a smash look at Wolf the Red Hood Diaries. For as you as always and this is a game brought to you by Grin. Anyway, what is Wolf you might be asking? I'm sure I'm hoping and saying that right? It could, it could be Wolfie? Correct me if I'm wrong, you know, I am here to be corrected as always. Anyway, what is it? It is a 2.5D actiony platformer coupled with some pretty darn awesome puzzles and some wicked as hell combat. You play as Red Riding Hood, that's kind of the Red Hood Diaries almost gives it away, and you're out for revenge for your father. Now this is the first title in which you, it's a sort of two-parter type thing. Don't run away, stay here, stay here! Basically each part is a standalone type of adventure, it's just the, you know, they, they almost run into each other in a way, and the game's pretty reasonably priced as well. Anyway, so, let us begin and get into some options. They're actually very well-rounded options, and there's a heap of customization that I noticed as well. You've got resolution, full screen v-sync, multi-sample texture details, shadow quality, shadow resolution details, really, really nice. Also, the audio has been broken down really, really nicely. Tons of, just, that's f separated really, really well. Then you get controls and settings. Now, I have to point out, I am using a controller, I found it is easier to control use a controller, but the controls do work really well with keyboards and mouses. Well, there's not really any mouse control apart from in the menus, but the keyboard does work really, really well. I just kind of prefer a controller with platform and sort of thing. Anyway, let's get back. So, you can actually head into the diary and these bits and bobs you find throughout the, the game just sort of lure, which is always really nice to actually see. The suicide, the unsafe harbor, you know, heading home. All that kind of cool stuff, and you see I've missed some stuff, annoyingly. But, hey, let's get into the game and you can see what it offers, and you never know, you may go pick it up. I hope you do, because I actually really, really like it, and you're going to probably see why. The game actually does load pretty darn quickly. Stood still here. The smell of old books, pencils, and ink stains on the floor. That's my father, for sure. As you probably instantly notice, there is a sort of rhyming thing going on, which is really, really cool. Also, secondly, you'll notice the game looks freaking so good. I love this art style. It's a very sort of dark, nitty gritty fairy tale going on. And then you've got the music, you know, chiming in, just, you know, adding to that fairy tale sort of infused thing. And I'm not on about the anime before anyone jumps in there, but it's really, really cool. Now you, this is your little character here, and you run about. So we've actually just started a new chapter. We're in father's sort of workshop, from what I can tell. And you've just got to try and figure out your father's notes and everything. Every, not everything sort of rhymes, but it does do a quite good thing there. And you just got to love the music. The graphics do look so freaking awesome, though. I do really, really love the art style that they went for. Father spoke in drawings, more often than in words. Charcoal was his mother tongue. He sketched the most beautiful stories I've ever heard. I will actually get to showing you some, you know, some of the mechanics, you know, as platforming, puzzles and stuff. Right now we're just kind of wandering around, finding stuff. Was there anything over here? Oh, there, oh Grace, what's... what is she doing here? With no mother to tuck me in, it was this tiny woman who stood by my bed and lulled me to sleep. Father made her in 22 days, my thumb-sized piece of comfort. I named her Grace. I'd forgotten all about her. She used to protect me from imaginary monsters. I hope she works her magic on real ones, too. Now, you probably notice there's no animation in the mouth while she's talking. I do feel that the devs have kind of went for this sort of you know, she's saying it within her head, you know, an analog type thing, and she's not actually speaking it out because she's not got any cause for saying it, because you're just running along and, you know, when it comes to fighting bad guys, and she kind of says something, and it's almost as if you're thinking it rather than actually saying it. Father's notes, scattered and fragmented, like his mind often was. Pinocchio, you rascal. I tell your story night after night. If only my little girl knew how much you and I are alike. Living a life with many strings attached and an ever-growing nose to pay our dues. If only we could cut the cords. Am I a creator if what I create destroys? 
Is a toy still a toy on the devil's playground? It pays the bills. It feeds my child, but it kills. Innocent people and me on the inside. Oh, Father, what dark thoughts wandered through your bright mind? As you can tell, it is very, very sort of dark fantasy like world and you know it plays on it's sort of uh, fairy tales but it's like red riding hood and we all know, well hopefully you know that all fairy tales are kind of based on a almost horror like fairy tale but this is sort of a dark nitty gritty you know wolf seems to be a character that's taken over and you know kicked everyone out and you know it's just done something to her father and murdered him and i'm from what i can gather and you know, she's out for revenge, and it's just like, you know, Wolf is a, in the fairy tales, you know, the big bad wolf sort of thing going on. Uh, but this time he's got mechanical stuff, and you, you saw Pinocchio there, and he doesn't look too good. And just everything's very dark, and but that just looks pleasant, doesn't it? Oh, hello, can I click you? Are you clickable? Are you clickable? No. What, what happens if I do this? Is that what I think it is? Did my father do what I think he did? He told me he designed toys. Well, this is hardly suitable for little girls and boys. Father, did these tin cadets, whom I've slaughtered by the dozen, originate from your mind? This can't be true. This isn't you. This is not you. And we get Mr. Wolf. Hmm. After careful consideration, I have decided to resign from my function at Wolf Industries. I hereby give you my two weeks' notice. Sincerely, Joseph R. Hood. So, Father quit? I didn't have a clue. Wolf must have really screwed his mind. If only we knew. But wait. The letter's date. That's when Father died. I love the voiceover work. I came here it's for clues, awesome. But now I'm even more confused. I need some air. Have you just come back out and take it? No, wait. Uh oh. What now? I get the feeling and know I'm here. Also, you have an axe, which is pretty darn cool. So much for going unnoticed. Change of plan. Time to kill everything. Oh, great. These, these guys are unkillable. Or I have not been able to kill one. Run. Run. You can sprint. Right trigger. You can also sneak. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Doop, 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 doop. And you can you have a double jump. Nicely. Um, get under. Go. No. Oh, dear. See ya. Wouldn't want to be. Oh, great. How about you go away? And I fell in the river. And oh, okay. Sometimes I find the checkpoints can be a little unforgiving. That's probably my only bugbear with the game. I mean, to be honest, the game looks fantastic. It runs amazingly well. Yep. Un and I would take these guys on, but they're unkillable, and there's lots of them. They pretty much insta kill you. Run. I forgot to double jump. Run. But you gotta love the music. It's actually fantastic. Plus this game is quite a darn good price, especially for what you get. The quality wise is just oozing from this quality. Air slide. Come on, run. Goodbye, see you later. Oh dear, run. Run! Aha! You will never catch me! Oh, great. Oh, no, 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 Ah! Jeez. Oh, great. You're following me. Wonderful. Where the hell am I meant to go? Uh, God dang it. Wait, what? In here! Ah! There we go.
Just run around in circles. Whew. Jeez. I'm hoping I do get to show you some combat, though, because it is pretty darn cool. How well we got. Puzzles. I want that W. I can throw it in threat. So LB and to throw it. What? Did you see that? Didn't know I had that trick up my sleeve. And I find the, the actual combat is very, very satisfying. The axe is, you know, there's a good stompy feel to it, the way an axe should be. Also, I like the fact that I can actually throw this. But you hold in, when you're holding in the L, tr the left trigger, I, th I think it was a uh, alt or control. It's one of the two on the keyboard. You actually bring up this almost like, and it sort of spell-like world. And you know it's up in the left-hand corner, you do have your health, which is red and blue. I'm going to just name it sort of mana spirity form or something. And then this one, you can actually do this, which is always very nice, and stuff like that, which is always cool. And you get it back for, oh, there's a lot of guys down there. Do I want to take these guys on? Do I want to take these guys on? How about me? That's not going to hit you, is it? Okay. Hello. Okay. Okay, user angry. Thank you. So I got some health there and got some of that back. Very nice. I'm going to get this. Where is it? Give it, give it, give it. Is there anything hit here? No. Just come back off of this. As a child, I had an army of men like them. They were tiny with missing limbs and meant no harm. I still cannot believe these killer ten creations arose from my father's imagination. Did he really throw out all his principles just to make sure I could eat? Is it really that easy to go from bad to good? Just realized I probably could have sneaked past them because they were both they were some were facing like towards the screen and some were facing away. I could have sneaked right past them. So you can sort of sneak or I feel like the itsy bitsy spider. Next time try actually using that sword. Yes. Also, if you actually do go into sort of spell mode, it shows you stuff that you can actually cling on to. Which is always nice and handy, you know, if you're a bit stuck in like where the heck am I meant to go? Oh great, hi. But wait, if I do this. Oh, that was very, very nice, Dylan. I do love the combat. It's really, really good. Now, where does it? Oh, it's another little floaty thing. I assume it's going to take me that way. Once a vibrant place, especially on sunny days. Kids gathered on the piers with paper boats, bait, and nets, while their parents met with friends for a picnic atop blankets. You can tell though that the devs have put a lot of work into making this world sort of believable. Though there's nobody around, there's just these robots which are kind of scary, nutcracker style. But you can see the mechanics of the game. You know, are made up of sort of platforming puzzles. That's the makeup of the game. And am I going to be able to take these guys? Come on, come on! I forgot to press that. Oh, that was a bit close. Is there any boxes around that I can smash that would give me some health? No? Okay, fine. Well, look oh, look. Hi. Oh, son of a... Hey, where do you think you're going? What's this going to take me? To show your face? So we're actually hunting down this, this the Pied Piper, essentially. Wheel. Um, I don't know. You'll see nothing. The water effects are freaking awesome. Where's this taking me? I'm about to get stuck in that, aren't I? And I need to jump across here. Or apparently not. Where's this, this is taking? Turning out to be a fairy tale after all. Um. um uh. Okay, it's getting a bit fast. Let's go. Hello. Hey, stop hitting me. Okay, okay, okay. Nice hat. 
Why are you not dying? And then I'm dead. Oh, the normal ones, that's it. No, but these are the guys that already killed. And pick up some blue stuff that allows you to actually fill up your lovely jars. And then bring this out here. That didn't hit you. Why didn't that hit you? Never knew tin crumpled so easily. Ah, oh, dang it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, guys. No, 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 no. I'm running. Let me out of here. I'm getting out of here. Nope. I'm getting out of here. Okay, I'm gonna come dead. Get out of my way. Out of my way. There's no way to go this way. Saw that one coming. Sadly, some of these guys are pretty darn annoying to actually kill. Oh, some health was in there. So how does one kill you? Is he actually dead? No, he's really not. Oh, dang it! Die! No! Oh! So he does actually die, it just takes quite a bit. Hey guys, how you doing? Leave me alone already. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. There's another gold one down here, but I'm gonna try and sneak by these guys, because they seem a bit hard to kill. I love the animation quality, it's really, really nice, and plus it's just Flow of Red Hood's jacket, please don't notice me. There's nobody here. It's all in your imagination. But you see, you get quite a few chapters. Quite a chunk of story. It does say it's sort of three to four hours. Sort of the first act, almost. I go up here. Where does this want me to go? And I do actually really love it. But guys, this has been Wolf the Red Hood Diaries. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I have, and well, the link shall be down below to the Steam page, you can go see more, and thank you again for watching, see you next time.